Hey crafty family, it's me! And today we are going to have fun with watercolor. And I have a technique that I learned from watching a YouTuber called J. Lee... J. Lee Watercolor something? I'll put it in the description. I was just watching it like five minutes ago. That's how bad I forget. Anyway, he's really cool. I like watching his stuff. He does a lot of beginner stuff. And, you know, he's also got a, a kid. Um, I, I don't know whether it's a girl or a boy. Because it's like a small baby, so it's like hard to tell. But anyway, the kid is in like a high chair sitting behind him while he paints. And like, it's so cute. So, um, I like watching his videos because, you know, um... I generally don't like a lot of videos where there's not any talking. Um, I'm not one for like the speed throughs or anything. And he doesn't speed through it. He just has music over it. And I prefer people that are talking. But he does do some like very beginner stuff, which I like. He does other things too, I think. But I think he, you know, does some beginner stuff. And I'm a beginner, so I'll take anything I can get. But anyway, what he did was he did a balloon... He did balloons, and how he did it was... Oh, and I forgot the most important part. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Hold on, wait, let me see if I have... Oh, crap, hold on a minute. Hold on, hold on, watch my stuff. I got it. Oh, hard to get to. Phew! Well, that was hard to get to. Sorry about that. I'm trying to go through this without having to edit. Okay, so you need a white crayon. And you need your watercolors. And a watercolor brush. Those are the only things you need. So, the white crayon. This is all I got because I used it to melt. <laughs> in another project. The white crayon is for creating a resist. Oh, I could have used my Stabilo. I probably could have used my Stabilo. Anyway, what he did was he made, like, little marks. I don't know how he was able to see the marks that he made. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to, but I'm going to do, like, one at a time. He made, like, these little marks. Yeah, see, like, I could, I could, well, I could see them, I guess. Yeah, I guess I could see them. I'll do, like, two marks and see two sets of marks for the balloons. And he made, like, like highlight marks that's it couldn't think of it so and then i sprayed some water on my color let me make sure make sure they're wet and then he takes the color and adds some water to it and and then he like draws his balloons which Obviously, you have to water it down quite a bit, I guess, in order for it to show up. Maybe. Maybe I need to take some of the some of the color out. Yeah. Because he had it watered down a lot more than that. See, as long as you keep it light, you get... You get this, you know... You get a balloon. I mean, you get a highlight from the, um, yeah, you get a balloon. Duh. Of course you get a balloon if you draw the damn balloon. <laughs> the balloon doesn't show up all by its damn self. <laughs> you get the highlights. That's what I was trying to get at. I'm such an idiot. You get a balloon. <laughs> all by itself. It's like magic. Okay. So we're going to do a red one and we'll do like, is that red? I guess that's red. We'll do like this color red and I'll put a lot of water this time because yeah I know he I, I I remember seeing him watering down and I was like why is he watering down the pigment so much now I know why because in order for the for the resist to happen you have to have the color watered down this one's going to be big and wonky because I'm not good at draw, drawing not even circles And they don't have to be perfect. I mean, they're just supposed to be cutesy little little balloons. And see, again, you got to go light or else you lose your, 
you lose your 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 thing. I'm not good at being like I'm heavy. -hand. I've said this before. I'm like the most heavy-handed person on the planet. That's why I'm not good at drawing, I'm not good at coloring, because I'm so heavy-handed with everything I do. But this all kind of this kind of trains you not to be heavy-handed. You know what I mean? Because I'm forced to back off. Because if I don't back off, my balloon is so wonky. If I don't back off, then I end up with the wrong. you know, thing that doesn't work. But isn't that cute? It gives you, if you do like two little dots. So let's do another one here. But I like that, that, that it's forcing me to do that. And I should probably clean these up. Because this is my palette. For the time being. Let's do a green one. See, I obviously don't need that much because it really needs to be watered down quite a bit. Let's see if that's the sweet spot. Yep, that's better. Still a little bit much, but I'm really bad at drawing a circle. Really bad at drawing a circle. I need some more water. So I could probably be good. I'm probably better if I twist it. Do what you gotta do, right? Now I will lift some of the color, because again, I put too much on. <clears throat> and then I'll make the little neck of the balloon part where it's knotted off and voila I think that looks cute okay and we'll do another one right here and I'll do this one in yellow so we'll grab some yellow That should be watered down a lot better. I hope you guys can see, and I hope I'm not completely out of frame because, you know, I tried to zoom it in. Okay, I'm not. I'm good. Okay, so there's my yellow. And I'll leave... I'll leave... Uh, I'll leave those up there. I'm still gonna... I'll leave those two colors up there is what I was trying to say. I'm still trying to just take some of the excess out to make it lighter okay now let's go for a blue let's do this blue here oh, it might help if I drew my thing hmm brush has like a weird point on it I don't really like and I want so bad I think I'm gonna cut it because I don't like it at all it's got this weird point that's like really stick like like one or two hairs that are just that's better that just stick out and it's kind of driving me nuts Alright, we'll 
going to have to water this. I mean, I thought I watered that blue down. That's what uh, I love about these paints, which, by the way, I'll put a link to where you can get these in the description. They're the Kirataki watercolors, and I love them. Um, love these watercolors so much. They're like my go-to watercolors, pretty much. This is really cute. That's a big one. <laughs> now what we can do is take some of the green and add it into the blue. And uh, we'll need a little bit more blue for that. Let's see what we get. We get like a cool blue-green. Obviously, if you're adding blue and green together. And then we can do like that. Oh, it's much easier to control after I cut that little rogue hair off of the off the paintbrush. That was just weird. That's a little better. What's nice about this, doing these balloons, is it gets you used to doing rounded shapes. And it's good practice. It's also good practice to go light on your, you know, on your color. So that you're not overdoing it. Helps you kind of learn. So, the other thing that he did was he dried this completely, and then he overlapped some. So, after I do a couple more, maybe like one or two more, we're going to try that. So, I'm going to put one here. Like that. And this time we'll do, we've got blue, green, red, blue pinkish color. Let's do purple. Which one's purple? Is this one? No, that's like a dark blue. I don't really want that. Hold on. Maybe we'll use that one. Way. Here it is. I was looking for the purple. Maybe we'll use the dark blue on one of the overlaps. So I'll leave it there. So I'm not a painter in any way. Um, I just started doing watercolors. I'm a novice, beginner, for sure. So if I can do this, you could do it. So I, uh, you know, couldn't stress enough that you should give this a try because it's so cute. These little balloons are just adorable. You can do like, and obviously I'm doing a tag because right now in my group, if you're not a member, you should be a member. Pink Poodle Pack Creative Playground. Um, well, it's actually, I changed the name to add Crafty in it because people were thinking it was a poodle group. <laughs> so it's Pink Poodle Pack Creative Crafty Playground so that people understood. I forgot to put the little balloon knot on there. Okay. Maybe we'll add one more. Nah, this is good. Then I'll dry it and then we'll do some overlapping. So let me hit this real quick with the heat gun. It shouldn't take but a second. I said before you do the second layer the first layer should be completely covered okay so obviously when you're going to overlap balloons 
Um, you want to, I guess, use colors that aren't going to turn to mud. So, like, over the pink one, I can do, like, orange or yellow or blue. You know what I mean? Over the red one, I could do blue or yellow or orange. Over the blue, I can do yellow, green, red. Over the purple, I could do red or blue, pretty much. Um, stuff like that. So you got to be careful. Kind of know your color wheel a little bit. So, for instance, I've got this dark blue here. I can do that kind of overlapping. Since we didn't get to use it, I'm going to water it down quite a bit. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, the, the little thingamabobbers there. And I'm going to... Oops, I'm turning to the purple. And go into the to the paint like so. Now, yes, it might react with the paint below it, um, but then you're gonna erase a little bit of it because you just want it to be a a light so that you can see. So that you could see the red underneath. You want it to be just a light wash of color so that the red kind of shows. You see now how you can see the red underneath the blue. So these are really, this is like a really great practice for watercoloring for sure. That's why when I seen it, I was like, you know what? That's a really good way for me to practice some things. So now I'm going to do an orange one, and I'm going to try to do it, whoops, <laughs> as I touch my dirty brush to the thing. So I'm going to do it between the, the, the pink and the red. <clears throat> so I'm going to get some water, and I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to put some orange there, and water it down a good amount. I'm going to draw my little thing, so if I want to do it, I'm going to put my thing here and here. Now I've got the hiccups. <laughs> so, I'm going to draw it here and here and make the balloon not there. Obviously, I need to my thing isn't showing as well. There it is. You really need to lighten it for everything to show. And your brush needs to be a little wet, so I'm like just <clears throat> getting some of the moisture out of it, but not all of the moisture. <coughs> there we go. I'm sorry. So you can see the pink. I got that blue mark on there. You could still see that, but oh well. You can see the red. You can see the pink through there pretty much. Interesting. Very interesting. So now, let's see. Let's do... Let's do a green one over here going through the blue since we still have green and I can make it a little darker by adding this, these darker greens in it so it's just a little bit of a different green than the other one. Like that. And then we'll do like this.
the brush, pick up my towel that I keep dropping, come back in and kind of pick up the color so that you can see through it. Interesting. That really is cool. Isn't that cool? I love how you can see. That's why I love watercolor. To me, watercolor is so much more fun to paint with than acrylic. And I've said this before. You either love it or you hate it. And I am a total, like, watercolor fanatic. I love me some watercolor. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do magenta through the purple. That would be pretty groovy. Let's see. I'm running out of room. <laughs> Let me move these out of the way because it would be easier. And I hope you guys can see because I'm really bad at being um let me make sure camera's still good. Good. Okay. I don't want to push this up into the paint. So I'm gonna do this. stick it in the paint <laughs> very cool now we've got this yellow one and I haven't done any orange so I'm gonna do an orange well, I had to do an orange I'm gonna do a little bit of a darker orange maybe or hmm or maybe I'll make like a, a funny looking pink because that would go good between these two and I can do that and if I take some of that red, and there is a white, and I can try to kind of see what would happen. Let me try to see if I can get this white and this red to make a pink. This red is kind of pinkish already, so let's see. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, so that worked. That came, like, really pretty. I don't know how well it's going to look over that, but we might want to add some more white to it. That's a pretty color. It's not really pink. Maybe if I... Let me experiment and add a little more red into it. Oh, now we're getting like a hot pink. <laughs> Goodness. Um, I need to add a lot of water and just grab some of it. Because goodness gracious. I made a lot of color. That's okay. I have plans for this when we're done. I have plans. Okay, this will work right here, I'm sure. Let me make my crayon mark. Where am I going to do it? Here? Okay. Let's see what we get if we go... I made a lot of color there. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, my 
highlight is in like a really weird place on this one, but that's okay. It's not I. It'll live. And I went over the highlight on the on the this balloon here, but it caught it still. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. I like it. Okay, I think I am done with that. So let's move that out of the way for a second and grab another tag. Now on the back of these and the back of this one too, you might have noticed, I was playing around testing some things out. So I just used the other side. I didn't want to waste it. So what I'll do now is go through and pick up some color and add a little water to some of the ones that are drying up. And we'll have like a, a watercolor tag with some random colors on it, like so. Cool, cool. I have another one back of that one as well. Two watercolor tags. That's enough because it's starting to get muddy now. It's starting to get a bit muddy in spots. So, all right. Now the only thing left to do is to I'm gonna dry this real quick. The heat gun, just for a second. to do now is to make balloon strings which you know I probably shouldn't have just gotten rid of all that color before I did this but but there is a but there's a but but I can use just like a solid color I'm trying to find a brush that would I don't have a good variety of thin this one. It probably won't work. Uh, let's just use this one and see what happens. I'm going to use the same color for each one. I'm just going to use, I know, a gold. I'll use a gold string. That's a good idea. I'll use a gold string. Gold metallic. That's fine. Q 
cute. Did I miss any? No. Cute little balloons. Cute little balloons. Oh, I like them. They are adorable. This would be great for like a birthday, like even a card, like if you did it as a card instead of a tag, it would be cute for a birthday. Very cute. Side to match the strings. Quick and easy, easy project to do. I've got one of these gold reinforcers I can put here that I made with regular white reinforcers and I embossed them with gold embossing. Why did I put the glue on the wrong side again? <sighs> Let me get a different one. That one's going to be all sticky. I've done that before, I don't know why. How stinking cute is that? So there we are. I have a fun little tag that's watercolored that I can either stamp a sentiment on or make a little tag to go on here with a sentiment or just put, you know, just not. <laughs> so, yeah, we're doing the tag swap. Now I have these as well um, to use, and these are really colorful and pretty, so I can obviously stamp on these or put something on these. So you get three tags for the price of one, pretty much. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I hope you'll give this a try. It's really cute. I'll, like I said, I'll put his video below of where I got this technique from. So you might want to take a look at it. Um, and yeah, if you do this, if you make, you know, do this little technique with the balloons and the crayon, um, hopefully you post a picture of it in the creative, uh, the poodle pack. Yep. Pink poodle pack creative crafty playground group on Facebook. The link for that will be below so that we can see all your awesome uh, creations, all your lovely paintings. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Coloring or if you're just getting into water coloring, you know, to let me know if you're into water coloring or if you want to get into water coloring, I'd love to know below. And also if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Um, I, when I look at my statistics, I see that most people that watch my videos aren't even subscribed. So give me a subscribe. The little red button, um, I promise it won't bite you back. Just click on that. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Make sure you do what you love and love what you do and be nice to people and I'll talk to you later. Bye!